Greetings sailors and welcome to the newest, newest installment in the Navigari webinar. You know, when we did our first webinar back in March, I assumed that life would be pretty much back to normal by this time. Well, I guess things aren't uh, really back to normal, but one thing's for sure, I wanna go sailing. So I'm glad you made it. Uh, hope to get uh, lots of important information to you during the course of the call. And I'd like to uh, uh, give a special shout out for all of our international uh, attendees. We have people from around the world. It's really, uh, really great. And thank you for staying up late or getting up early. Most of the webinar is going to be specifically pointed towards North America. However, we do have opportunities for ownership worldwide. So I, I started out this uh, webinar series by talking about the status of the industry. And the, uh, with the effect of COVID, uh, I'm glad to say that our Croatia base has been operating for over a month. Uh, we've been sending charters out in Spain and Greece uh, for a couple of weeks now. So super excited about that. Uh, BVI, uh, as of today, as of about noon today when I last checked, had not given any update on their opening date for uh, foreign visitors. Uh, their original estimate was for September. We fully expect that uh, to, to be the case. So in the last webinar, I spoke, uh, our, our, our team spoke about all of the different programs that are out there. If you're interested in buying a yacht and putting it in, a, uh, in one of our charter programs. This time, we're gonna speak a little more specifically about our guaranteed revenue program, the Navigari Complete program. So uh, before we start, I wanna thank all of those of you that have uh, asked questions. Uh, great, we had a ton of questions come in. We're gonna answer all of those. If you do have questions during the webinar, uh, please feel free to type them into the chat and uh, we will get to as many as we can trying to keep this to half an hour, so um, let's dive in. Um, one of the questions is, uh, why Navigari? Uh, we are very proud of the ownership of the company, uh, practically family owned and been uh, running for 20 years now, growing from a small fleet of six boats to over uh, 300 now worldwide. Uh, super excited about that. And, and, and we're very proficient in both the charter and the yacht ownership side. They're both critical parts to the business and we, uh, we wanna make sure we do uh, all of them well. So we're known for our maintenance. We're the only company with an online maintenance portal that you as an owner get to look at everything we're doing on your boat, keep track of the, the work. Uh, it also allows us to, uh, to offer the best quality boat uh, at the end of the charter term. Uh, we try to make sure we protect your asset like it's our own boat. We've got some of the highest returns in the industry. Our mid-sized catamarans and the BVI are returning uh, on the order of uh, nine plus percent of the cost of the boat every year. Uh, so if it's 9% over seven years, 63% uh, uh, return of the cost of the boat. Uh, we do have locations worldwide. We're excited about that. Uh, more to come. And uh, I believe we're the only charter company that allows you to trade your sailing weeks for land holidays. So uh, another exciting point for us. So today we're fortunate enough to again have our uh, sales team, Amanda and Joaquin with us. And I'm gonna start by asking them what they typically find is the profile for a, uh, an owner who uh, wants to get involved in the Guaranteed Revenue Program. So Amanda, can you tell us a little bit more about uh, who you think fits that uh, profile? Certainly, I would say that any new sailor who is not yet confident in their abilities or skills, this is a perfect program for them. They're new, they wanna learn, but they're not quite confident that they can control or take care of or know how to take care of a yacht by themselves. So what we'll do is we will step by step show you the process, hold your hand, um, show you the maintenance, the steps that go into it, even offer you ASA courses on your own boat 
so that you can learn and master the boat uh, on your own. So obviously the new sailor is a perfect thing to help them offset the cost of their ownership and learn from us. Uh, we've had a history of taking care of boats, like Philip said, for over 20 years, and uh, we can pass all of our knowledge on to you. So great for those kinds of sailors, but also the very experienced sailor who maybe owns their own boat in their backyard, but would like the ability to go around the world and see different ports on different boats and have that opportunity in uh, up to 52 different reciprocity bases around the world, along with the nine that we uh, operate and manage. So it's really, it, it crosses the span of all different types of sailor as well. Thank you, Amanda. Joaquin, um, you, you must run into some different profiles that seem to, uh, seem to want to take advantage of the guaranteed revenue program. You bet, Philip. <clears throat> Thank you. One of the primary benefits of the complete program is that it offers hassle-free ownership. You know, with the, um, with the guaranteed program, you get a predictable revenue stream. Um, and that means a lot to a lot of people because it's easier to plan. Um, if you're using that revenue stream to, to pay for your mortgage on the boat, um, you know what it's going to be every quarter. Um, another really important aspect is that your boat is always ready when you show up. You don't have to spend your vacation fixing things, you know, filling water tanks, repairing sails or rigging. Um, all maintenance is professionally handled for you and your boat is ready every time you show up. Um, so if you've got a week off and you get to spend a week on your boat, you get to spend the whole week sailing. Um, I know, uh, you know, boat maintenance is always a challenge and, and even people that have second homes, it's a challenge. So that takes uh, a lot of the worry out. And another thing that the, the complete program offers is that there's no additional costs. Um, all of the insurance is included, slip fees are covered, Again, all of your maintenance, um, you don't pay for anything else. So um, just takes all the work out of it and makes for a really pleasant um, ownership experience and lets you really maximize your time on the water. And that's what we all really want ultimately. Oh, thank you, Joaquin. And I'm just going to give you a little heads up here. Joaquin has a boat that is not in a charter program and uh, it's being repaired as we speak. So <laughs> he <laughs> yes, speaks uh, from experience on that one. Um, I've got a profile that I love to work with. Uh, somebody that, that has a retirement plan, they know when they wanna retire. They know the boat that they want to retire on and take off and sail around the world. I'm lucky I've been able to cross nearly every ocean with my dad and uh, my kids and uh, a lot of uh, fellow sailors share those, uh, those plans and ambitions. So a great way to learn on your boat, to get experience with that specific boat uh, over many years, uh, and, uh, and then when the time is right, out of the program, get off and sail away. So that's always, um, always a, a, a profile that I look for. Uh, we, we are, I mentioned we offer a seven year term. Somebody wants to pull their boat out after three years, no problem. Two years, just need to give us one year notice. So uh, we didn't get really specific last time uh, when we were talking about all of the, uh, the different options, investment options. So I'm gonna pull up a, a little uh, slide presentation that breaks down very specifically uh, ownership in the guaranteed revenue program. So let me pull this up here real quickly. And don't know if you can still uh, hear okay. I'm assuming you can. We're going to use an example of a Lagoon 46. So if you were one of our uh, new owners had purchased a boat and it's going into our BVI fleet uh, in November, it would be a 2021 Lagoon 46. And here's a good breakdown of the price. We've got uh, the, the basic yacht price, all of the mandatory equipment, our commissioning and delivery and registration, and for a total price of $762,200. We talk about a per percent uh, return. On this particular boat, for the first five years, the return is 9.8%. 
one of our highest return boats in the fleet, very sought after uh, charter boat. So the guaranteed revenue on this boat would be $75,042 per year. We pay that quarterly, so a quarter of that amount uh, every three months. Year six and seven, the revenue drops just a little bit to eight and a half percent. And we used one of our higher percentage boats. It's one of our most sought after boats, both for ownership and for, uh, for uh, charter guests. If you're wondering about a, um, an example of a monohull, for example, the return is going to be uh, a little bit less in the order of six and a half, seven percent, for example, for um, a, a decked out charter boat. So uh, the, the, now the, we're going to be basing the rest of this off a boat priced at 762200 So financing. Uh, we, we have um, a number of banks that uh, will do the financing. Uh, we work with a company that uh, they were with us a couple of webinars ago, Lending Associates. And uh, the last vote we did was 4.99%. I used a slightly higher percentage for this uh, so that we come out with really good, safe numbers. Uh, the down payment, uh, the banks are now requesting 25% down. There are still some 20% uh, down payments available, uh, but 25%. And, um, um, and for a 15-year loan, you can do 20%, 20 years uh, if you'd like. And I'll talk a little bit more about that uh, as we go deeper. Well, here we are a little deeper. So the loan amount, 571,650, uh, over 15 years. So at the end of the seven year term, your remaining loan amount would be 359,595. So the, um, I'm going to skip, the, the, then the yacht value is estimated at 495, 430. So I'm going to show you some, some real examples we pulled down today from a service that yacht brokers have called Sold Boats that are going to show you some, some numbers that very much uh, support the value of the boat. So right here we, we show, the, the next line is, the yearly loan payment of 55,144. Of course, you'd be paying monthly uh, the 4,595. Uh, 4, uh, off to the right, you'll see that with a 15-year uh, a loan, the yearly income will be 64,553. So the surplus is 14,653. So, uh, Twelve hundred dollars a month in surplus uh, that you can either put towards uh, additional payments, uh, pay for pay for all of your uh, trips to see the boat or other boats uh, around the world. Uh, but it does uh, does cover the mortgage in this scenario and throws off cash as well. So here we are with the uh, the complete program. Uh, the, basically the, uh, all the valuation. On the return side, you have the holiday value. Uh, we did put it in as a, a cash value here, but uh, without it, it's still profitable. Total income and residual yacht value. And then the total costs are the yacht purchase price. So your actual return in this scenario is 504000 uh, if you take away the holiday value, I think it comes to about half that amount, 250000 So a uh, quarter million dollars in, uh, in, uh, in value at the end of the charter term. So here are the numbers uh, broken down a little bit more. So the total holiday value uh, you can see is 266770 so if you took that aside, you can still make a quarter million dollars a year, uh, I mean, over the seven years with, uh, with the boat. So not including the holiday time, uh, this is a revenue producing boat. Residual value. 
So we get asked a lot, how do you know the, the actual prices? And, and let me give you an example. Let's take a look at the Lagoon 46, a, a 20, whoops, that should say 2021 uh, uh, instead of 2012, but a brand new boat, 762, 200. And then let's look at, uh, we don't, they didn't make this boat seven years ago. Uh, the nearest boat is a Lagoon 450. And so uh, we have a, at that time, a new Lagoon 450 in 2014, fully equipped and commissioned, sold for about 628,815. Uh, we used, uh, and, and uh, we, we used a number, a factor of two and a half percent per year. Uh, that's typical. It could be significantly more. We've been seeing three and a half, four percent, even five percent per year. So the actual purchase price could have been less than that uh, seven years ago. So the average sold uh, that we pulled up over the last uh, year and a half for 2013, 2014, and 2015 Lagoon 450s came in at 559. So uh, that average depreciation is only 11%. So if they were only selling for 408,000 on average, then you'd be at that 35%, and that's what we use our calculations on. So we've got a, a really safe number for the sale price uh, using 35% depreciation off the new cost of the boat. And here's something we pulled down from, uh, from sold boats. Uh, we've got uh, all of the Lagoon 450s, uh, so they're 2015s, 2014s, 2013s, uh, sold, you see the listing price, the sold price um, ranging from, um, let's see, 612 to 490. And I, I, I take it back, we pulled off the high and the low, 472, and then took the average of the rest of the boats. So um, I've actually sailed on this boat. It's a wonderful boat. Uh, uh, it absolutely was worth every penny of that. So uh, these are good, uh, very realistic numbers for seven-year-old boats. Well, we talked about the service plan. Uh, Navigari has a service platform. You have access to your boat. You get to see everything that's happening on your boat in real time. So as soon as a technician uh, makes a note about uh, doing some work on your boat, if a boat comes in and the debriefer notices that uh, there's a, um, uh, a piece of wood missing from the swim ladder or something, uh, that's noted and it's worked on. You get to see the technician that worked on it. I get to see that. Uh, my base manager, of course, follows it very closely. And it's really increased the level of our service. And it's one of the keys to us having the best service in the industry. Okay, uh, here we are. I'm going to stop sharing this for now. Um, and we are back. The, um, I want to get into the question and answer portion here. And we, we got some amazing questions from you guys and, and want to thank you. Uh, let's start off with a question from Mathieu. What does the term 9% guaranteed refer to? Joaquin, you want to take a shot at that? Oh, you bet. Great question. Um, <clears throat> the 9% is, is the percentage return based off of the sale price. So in the scenario we looked at, it's, it's 9% of the 762000 per year paid quarterly. Um, <clears throat> and, and that's a number um, that, that's returned to the investor after all expenses. So there's nothing coming out of that that's cash in your pocket. Okay, so um, by the way, uh, a lot of these questions came in. We, they've been uh, pretty much answered, but uh, we're going to keep asking them since you took the time to, uh, to ask the questions. We will answer them. Uh, Gary asked, will the income cover the cost of the purchase? Amanda? Yes, uh, most of the time the answer is yes. Uh, as Philip was stating before, um, a monohull or some um, custom yacht that doesn't maybe have as many cabins, 
may not uh, have as much, but as you can see with the 9.8% return on this Lagoon 46, you actually have a surplus above and beyond the cost of the mortgage each month. Um, so yes, it does. Great. Uh, Neil asked, can you tell me what the difference is between what we offer and the moorings? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take that one. I did work at the moorings, so I have a, a, a good insight. Love the company, they're a great company, they have uh, tremendous bases, they're our friends in the BVI and other locations. We work well together. Uh, we, uh, my base manager in the BVI, many of you have met, or some of you have met Compton, comes from the Moorings. Uh, they have a, a, a great program. I don't know um, a, a lot about their current offerings, and I don't want to take too much time speaking about, uh, about the Moorings. What I do want to talk about is what we offer and what I believe are uh, more competitive uh, return rates than uh, than anybody in the industry, and we're again we're known for our maintenance and, and the quality of the boats when they come out of a charter fleet. So and that one I I, I, I can't stress how important it, it really is. We're a much smaller organization. We're not owned by uh, by a fund. We're owned by a, a couple of guys from Sweden that uh, used to be charter boat captains in Greece all through their college career and started this company uh, almost 20 years ago with, with six boats and have put blood, sweat, and tears into the company and still are very active in this company every single day. So uh, I, I, I can tell you the, 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 the passion and, and the understanding of what the owners of our yachts need, what our charter guests need, uh, we know them, and our goal is to blow away their expectations. So David asked, um, is the ultimate plan the only one that qualifies for active participation? Joaquin. Thank you for the question, David. Um, that would be correct. The, the ultimate plan is our program that is designed to um, allow investors to qualify for the active participation or sometimes termed as a boat as a business um, plan, um, which allows you to take advantage of some of the um, tax depreciation laws. Uh, the ultimate plan is, is kind of based on the IRS's concept of um, risk. Uh, the, re the return is typically a little higher to the investor because um, because the revenue is not fixed and it fluctuates with the market. So you share um, the risk with Navigare, thus you get a slightly higher return. But that is, um, that plan will, will allow you to structure your, your company to, as a charter business and take advantage of the IRS um, tax laws. And that being said, we, we thoroughly expect and advise everybody to speak to their CPA so that they can get a good handle on their own personal situation. Um, everybody's got slightly different um, situation and, and those are certainly the, the people that'll help you out the best. Yeah, Bill, Bill asked one of the most important questions out there. After the term, will we repair damages found by third parties? And I'm gonna take a shot at that because I'm, that, that, that's a, a big one for me. We, of course, recommend that uh, you have a surveyor go through your boat. Um, and we, we just phased out a boat and uh, went through a survey. Not only did we repair everything we said we would, uh, there were a few things that were found by the surveyor and we went ahead and repaired them as well. So the, the, uh, our service plan is written into our contract. It's very specific about everything we do uh, every year, every two years, uh, very, very detailed, but even more importantly, it is, uh, it, it, it's so detailed it spells out the depth of a scratch in woodwork that we will fill. So four millimeters, for example, or anything larger than a centimeter uh, in, in width, I believe. So uh, we have a very detailed uh, setup and, and list of responsibilities that we undertake to make sure your boat is in excellent condition when you're ready to go off and sail it away. And Bill, I hope you're one of those that are gonna be taking your boat out and getting off around the world. Because that's, uh, 
again, super exciting for me. Uh, Liot asked, uh, please discuss offer for uh, pre-owned yachts. Amanda, you want to take a shot at that? Sure. Um, oftentimes, we'll have a boat that's coming out of our fleet that will be offered um, for sale. And those boats can sometimes be put back into the fleet if they're new enough and then sometimes offered for sale for brokerage. So yes, we do offer uh, pre-owned yachts for sale. Wonderful. So uh, Kenneth asked, what location will the boats be based out of? Joaquin? <clears throat> Thank you, Kenneth. Um, so you can place a boat into any of our bases throughout the world. However, uh, as we're here, you know, primarily targeting North American customers, BVI is probably the most convenient base. And that being said, the BVI happens to be the highest revenue producing base um, in the world. Um, so my recommendation would always be to place a boat in the BVIs and then use the program to sail the rest of the world. Um, that, that'll ensure that you get the, the best financial return on your dollar. Oh, very good, very good. Now, um, I'm just going to give you a little bit of breaking news on that, this, but uh, it's not really news yet. Uh, but Navigari is actively pursuing a base in the Bahamas. And uh, had there not been Hurricane Dorian and had there not been uh, the COVID crisis, uh, I'm pretty confident we would have had a base operating in the Bahamas. So uh, keep that, uh, keep, keep in close contact with us to, uh, to see the news on that. So Bobby asked, how soon can we get a specific boat into the program? Wow, love that question. Amanda. Right away, we've got a Lagoon 42, a Lagoon 52, a Beneteau, a couple of Beneteau monohulls ready to go for the start of our charter season, November 1st. So call us. Um, we can definitely get you into a boat right away, or we can discuss how long it would take to order you a new boat and place it into our program in any of our bases. Very good, very good. Uh, but Bobby, um, we'd love to be able to help you out as soon as possible. <laughs> um, can you cancel the contract before the end date came from Carlos? Joaquin, do you want to answer that? Well, Carlos, the answer is absolutely you can. Um, you know, we, we understand seven years is a long time and things change. Um, we'd love to have you in the program for all seven years, but we realize that, you know, maybe, maybe life changes and you can do something, you want to do something different. So you can, you can take the boat out at any time. We, we ask that you give us, um, pick up to a year's notice so we can, you know, um, offload all of the charters properly without affecting our customers. But other than that, yep, you can, um, you can move on and sail different waters if you choose. All right, thank you. Uh, Michael asked, what is your phase out protocol? And again, um, this is the service side and I take this uh, to heart. Uh, I do spend typically a, a week a month in the Virgin Islands and uh, I'm very, very closely tied to everything that goes on at the base. So for me, service, 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 service. Uh, so typically, we won't have a lot to do at the, uh, the phase-out time. But in general, uh, and again, this is spelled out uh, completely in our, our service agreement, uh, and you're welcome to email uh, Joaquin or Matt or myself about uh, to get a copy of that service agreement. We're very proud of it. Uh, but in general, uh, a couple of months before the end of the charter term, uh, we will we will go through the boat and start developing a very extensive list. If you want to have a third party surveyor come, we would probably want to do that, schedule a time for that um, a couple of months before it leaves service uh, in the event that there are parts we need and uh, we don't have on hand. Uh, so then the, the boat will be phased out of the fleet and our team will go to work and to do any work that needs to be done uh, that, that is very specifically listed on our service agreement. Then the boat will be handed over and uh, we want to uh, wish you a very bon voyage. 
So uh, Amanda, do you want to answer Marco's question about resale value and uh, different for different boats? Yes. Um, if you were watching earlier, we showed a specific example of the Lagoon 46, which showed uh, a seven-year-old boat uh, for about an average of 11% depreciation after seven years for that Lagoon 46 catamaran. Obviously, um, a monohull will be more than that. Um, and we have a very specific on our uh, pro forma that we show you of a 5% depreciation per year. And that is a very average uh, depreciation. Sometimes if a boat is placed in Europe, like a monohull specifically, it can be a little bit more than that, but not much. So these are after 20 years of experience of selling people's boats out of the program um, and brokering them that we can confidently say that that is a very safe valuation each year. Um, and yes, the different boats um, will have different resale value depending on their uh, sought afterness. Right now, cats are very hot. Um, a lot of them were wiped out during the hurricane and there's more demand than supply. So that shows that that 11% sell price uh, depreciation after seven years, is actually holding its value even more. So uh, it all depends. Thank you. We're, uh, we passed the 30 minute mark, so I'm going to speed things up a little bit. Uh, Joaquin, um, talk to Douglas about the upfront cost for a Helia 44. Oh, you bet. Thank you, Douglas. Um, well, unfortunately, the uh, Helios 44 is no longer available. Um, so I, I think a good comparison would be the Lagoon 46 that we, we've been looking at here. Um, you know, very similar size outfitted. Um, boat and and comparative costs so i would use that as a benchmark if you're looking for something in that um that range okay and j just to uh, to clarify douglas uh, we do offer uh lagoon catamarans fontaine by joe catamarans bali catamarans not a tech excess catamarans and also on the monohull side Beneteau, Genot, dufour so we have a a wide range of boats that uh, that we can offer so Tom asked, are power cats offered in the fleet? What size and brand? So uh, there is a wonderful Lagoon 77, I'm sorry, uh, 78 on the power cat side that we'd love to have in our fleet. Uh, that would be kind of on the large side, on the Fontaine Pajot side. They do have a smaller boats, a 40 and a 44 in their power cats. Um, Lagoon has a 70. Eight, a 67. Uh, so uh, happy to put uh, those power cats in our fleet. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing the bigger boats, we'd want to uh, make sure they were fully captained. Uh, uh, Tom asked, what are the financial qualifications for the program? Joaquin? Well, Tom, um, <clears throat> You know, first off, it'd be it's best for us to put you in touch with uh, one of our lenders because these things do change a little bit from time to time. But but basically, you need to have a pretty solid credit score, um, and some adequate reserves, and then you need to show income to to cover the the payment um, with without the income that we return. Um, most of the lenders don't like to to count that, and as long as you can uh, cover it on your own. Um, they're happy. So please give me a call and, and we can get you in touch with, with the right people and, and really dig down into the details and get you the, all the proper information. Great, and uh, Matthias asks, can you use a boat in a different location? Amanda. Yes, yes, and more yes. <laughs> um, like uh, Joaquin was saying earlier, uh, you put your boat that you purchased in one of our highest revenue returning places, which would be your basis, which would be right now the British Virgin Islands, uh, Thailand, or Seychelles. Uh, those happen to be our highest return basis. Uh, for North American people, the British Virgin Islands is the closest and best, and soon to come, Marsh Harbor in the Bahamas. So um, that is, yes, but you can use a 
both, like I said, in the, one of the 52 reciprocity bases that we have or um, at the nine other bases that we own and manage around the world. Okay, and Katrina asked, uh, does 9% typically create a cash flow positive? So let me answer that. And again, uh, the boats vary in, in return. All of the mid-sized catamarans are right around that 9% mark and mid-size 42 to 50, uh, even 52 feet. So, um, and yes, they are uh, very typically cash flow positive. So uh, the, the only way that you typically won't go cash flow positive is with a smaller catamaran, I mean, smaller monohull with, without the full complement of cabins. Nonetheless, uh, if, uh, if you're right at break even or slightly under, you do have all of the sailing advantages for some of the smaller boats or uh, boats that you want to customize that may not be the, the perfect configuration uh, for charter. And I regret we're, um, we're well over our 30, uh, 30 minutes. Um, I do, uh, um, the, the last question is, can you start the ultimate program and then switch to the complete program? And the answer is no. However, if you wanna start in the complete program and switch to the ultimate program, we're happy to, uh, to work with you on that. That would never be a problem. So, uh, and I regret uh, we, we uh, weren't able to get to all of the questions. Uh, if you have questions uh, that uh, came in late, uh, we'd love to answer you uh, very, very closely. So here we are. Uh, we've, we've answered a lot of questions about very specifically how does the guaranteed revenue, our complete program, work? Uh, now, here's the real question. How do I get started? How do you get involved in this? So uh, Amanda answered that we have some boats that uh, could be available for this season coming up in November. They're going to be coming out of the factory soon. Uh, in most cases, you're going to be uh, about a year or more out from the delivery date. Um, so you really want to start thinking about what is the right boat for you. And give us a call. We can, we can talk to you uh, uh, again. Uh, if you speak with uh, Joaquin or Amanda, they can give you, they'll, first they'll ask you a thousand questions. Um, but it's, it's really important that they understand what it is that you're looking for and what it is that you want out of the program. And uh, they have tons of experience and we would love to, love to help you out with that. You can also uh, get pre-qualified. So surprises at the last minute are never fun. Um, we, we don't have a lot of surprises. Uh, but every once in a while it does pop up and uh, it's been uh, pretty devastating for, for some people that uh, really wanted that boat. Uh, so again, give us a call and we can put you in touch with lending institutions who can uh, get you uh, all the information you need to see if, uh, if you can qualify or not. So uh, if you were ready to go, knew the boat, wanted to get started tomorrow, definitely call us and uh, we would ask for a 20% deposit to lock the boat in and nothing would be due until the boat's ready to leave the factory. So uh, wouldn't have to get a loan or anything until uh, down the road when the boat is, is ready, to, uh, ready to leave the factory and start its charter life. And there's an important one that uh, we go through all the financials, all the technical stuff, uh, but I'll tell you, I've seen uh, people brought to tears practically with this one when uh, they've got their boat on order and they haven't come up with a name yet. So start thinking about uh, the boat name right now because uh, uh, and, and get your family involved. So I uh, really appreciate uh, the, the time you spent with us today and all of the great questions and feel free to reach out to us uh, for anything uh, that, that uh, is uh, in the works with your sailing desires. So if you mention that you listened to this webinar when you call our, uh, our uh, 
a charter sales team, uh, we will have a very, very special offer for you. So until the uh, next webinar or uh, until you call us and, and we get to chat personally, I wish you fair winds. I'm gonna leave uh, with uh, the, uh, the phone numbers and emails of Joaquin and Amanda so that uh, you guys can, uh, uh, can take that down. Thanks again, appreciate your time.